In this video, we'll look at a rational function, that is a transformation of the function f of x equals 1 divided by x. And we want to find the domain range asymptotes and intercepts of this function, which in our case is f of x equals 1 divided by the quantity x minus 2 plus 4. First recall that the graph of 1 divided by x has two branches where we will not cross the x or the y axis. So to the left of the x axis, we're in quadrant 3. And to the right of the y axis, we're in quadrant 1. Remember that the asymptotes are y equals 0 is a horizontal asymptote. And the vertical asymptote is the equation x equals 0. That is where the function is undefined. So this function 1 divided by x minus 2 plus 4, recall that the change to x tells us how the function is going to shift left or right. And then the outside change is how it shifts up or down. And so for 1 divided by x minus 2, that tells us that we're going to shift right 2 units. And then the plus 4 says that we're going to go up 4 units. We could also determine how we're going to shift right or left by setting this denominator equal to 0. x minus 2 is equal to 0 when x is equal to 2. And that's going to give us the equation of our vertical asymptote. So we know the vertical asymptote is at x equals 2. So we're going to have a vertical line through 2 on the x-axis. And then our horizontal asymptote is going to come from this number on the outside. Plus 4 is going to shift this basic function whenever x up 4 units. So this horizontal asymptote at y equals 0 has to move up 4 units to y is equal to 4. And another way to think about that is that because 1 divided by x minus 2 will never be 0, the output of this function will never be 0 plus 4 or 4. So then we need to think about some specific points, if you will, to get on the graph. So we can find our, asymp we can find our intercepts. So if we find f of 0 to find our y-intercept, that's 1 divided by 0 minus 2 plus 4 which is negative one-half plus four, or three-and-a-half. So at zero, 3.5 is our y-intercept. To find the x-intercept, we're going to set the function one divided by x minus two plus four equal to zero. We can subtract 4 to get 1 divided by x minus 2 equals negative 4. And then cross multiply to clear out the fractions. And that's going to give us 1 equals negative 4x plus 8. So we can subtract 8 from each side to get negative 4x equals negative 7. And then divide by negative 4. So 7 fourths is equal to x. So what is that? 1.75 is going to be our intercept. So now we can graph. We know that the left piece is below the horizontal asymptote and to the left of the horizontal asymptote. We have two key points that we can use to graph. And our other piece has to be above the horizontal asymptote and to the right. If you want to figure out what a key point is, we can plug in 3 if you want to do that. So f of 3, for instance, would be 1 divided by 3 minus 2 plus 4. 
plus 4, which is 1 over 1, or 1 plus 4, which is 5. So just to get another point on the graph, 3, 5. And then we're going to just sketch the graph because we know it's asymptotic to this vertical line x equals 2 and to our horizontal asymptote. So the domain of this function is all reals except for 2. So we can write that in interval notation as negative infinity to 2, union 2 to infinity. And the range, as we go from bottom up, the graph extends infinitely downward, and it approaches this line y equals 4 without crossing, and then it's above the line y equals 4 and goes up to infinity. So it's all real numbers except for 4, which is negative infinity to 4, union 4 to infinity. We want to continue with this function and determine the end behavior and the behavior at the vertical asymptotes. So we have this statement to complete. As x goes to infinity, y approaches what? Well, remember that as x goes to infinity, that's what's happening on the right end of the graph. So on the right end of the graph, notice that the y value is approaching this horizontal line, which is y equals 4. And then as x goes to negative infinity, that is what's happening on the left end of the graph, notice that the graph is approaching this horizontal line, which is again y is equal to 4. And then as x approaches 2 from the right, what is y approaching? So 2 from the right means that we're coming in to this vertical asymptote from the right side. Notice that the graph is going up infinitely and the y values are getting larger or going to infinity. As x approaches 2 from the left, that is we're coming into this vertical asymptote from the left side, notice that our graph is going down, which is going to negative infinity.